Good afternoon. Hello and welcome. You're watching CNN News 18. I'm Anusha Soni. Our top focus this hour. ISRO has released new visuals from Mission Chandrayaan 3. Latest images which are coming in from the south side of the moon. India's very special expedition to the lunar uh, surface, especially the southern side of the moon, which has been an unexplored territory so far. Those are the details which are emerging at this point in time. We'll just try and put out those pictures for you in the next few days. 14 days is what the mission has to complete on the lunar surface. And in the next few days, ISRO selectively, as and when it thinks it's fit for public consumption and can be shared at large, We'll continue sharing these pictures. These pictures are very special to understand the southern side of the moon. It's altitude, temperature, the presence of water, uh, the traces of precious minerals and metals which are found to understand the overall atmosphere of moon. These images are guiding and uh, symbolic of the direction in which the research is moving at this point in time. The images on your screen right now, Chandrayaan-3 mission, uh, the mission by which India has cemented its story of success in the space expedition, exploring the southern side of the moon on a, on a frugal budget, something that has not been done by any country earlier before. With these images in the next few days, we'll continue having all of those images. Israel is very active on social media, putting out these images, sharing with people at large about what the mission is doing. Scientists across the world are watching these developments very closely because, as I said earlier, that the southern side of the moon is the unexplored territory for any any uh, uh, you know space study or whether it's NASA, the Russians or the Chinese. It's only the Indians who have been able to achieve this feat. The science, the data, Uh, whatever traces we uh, are able to figure out from there in terms of the pictures, the kind of other data and imaging that we are getting here uh, on the Earth sent by Chandrayaan-3, all of that is going to be very, very important. So the presence of various metals and minerals is something that needs to be figured out, especially sulfur is one thing that has been spoken of. Traces of water is something that scientists say we need to figure out if it exists or not. And the lunar expedition or understanding the south side of the moon becomes important because it's been seen as some kind of a of a arrangement where you know you can stop by on the moon you can have some sort of a station there and in the long term you can look at other planets say mars or understanding the orbit of the sun better uh, other tl1 that mission of course is also something which is very very special for india ritu with us on the broadcast ritu we have the latest images walk us through them well uh, so the isro has now put out another uh, visual that we are getting to see so yes this is the another instrument on board the rover confirming the presence of the uh, sulfur in the uh, region that you can see but this particularly has been done by an instrument uh, by the, the, the another technique called as the alpha particle x-ray spectroscope remember uh, just uh, day, you know a day back that the isro also put out uh, another a uh, confirmation of the presence of the sulfur which was then been confirmed by the another uh, uh, scientific technique called as LIBS uh, meaning the laser induced breakdown spectroscope which usually focuses on the uh, surface of the material exposing it to that particular material and then it generates an extent heat and also uh, the laser pulses localized uh, plasma there again so this is another technique which is actually uh, been used here so that's what the isro uh, is confirming over here but yes in the coming days we will be getting to see uh, more and more such visuals and also confirmation from the uh, isro of what exactly the rover uh, you know is confirming there on the uh, on the surface of the moon that uh, this uh, no, after the successful soft landing of the chandrayaan 3 um in the days to come you're talking about uh, important alpha x rays that have been accessed images have been released uh, of the pragya pragyan rover and what exactly is happening in the last few days uh, ritu what kind of intelligence what kind of information and knowledge has been gathered so far i understand that not everything will be put out in the public domain but whatever has been put out in the public domain just a brief analysis of that so yes you see just after uh, achieving the soft landing on august 23 itself you see right after the couple of hours after uh, the rover pragyan rammed out of the lander and started its scientific experiments we did see uh, the couple of visuals in fact coming out uh, 
from uh, you know, that the uh, the Indian Space Research Organization put out on the uh, X social platform, which was formerly called as the Twitter, and then later point confirming about uh, uh, the the, uh, you know, the the significant elements that are actually present on the uh, it's through its first ever in situ experiments, which is uh, basically the experiment that is carried out at the original place itself. Uh, so we did see how the ISRO confirmed one about the sulfur. So you see now what many uh, the scientific community is in fact talking about the presence of the sulfur. How it is going to help out and what the scientific community speaks about saying that this particular confirmation will actually help uh, further the community in the construction buildings, uh, the, the construction process as well. So that's how the sulfur is going to be very important with that along. Uh, we did see the confirmation about the aluminium, the, the protein and also calcium as well. So all this is really going to be important. But the next hunt for the ISRO is the hydrogen. Remember, the ISRO was speaking about it from a long time, saying that the oxygen, the hydrogen presence is also going to be very important for the uh, ISRO. Though, as you also mentioned out, but, you know, specifically that not all the details will actually be uh, put out on the public domain. Very specific information uh, will be made available. And after coming, you know, after a couple of... Uh, uh, for days or probably months or years as well that the ISRO will decide of when it has to be made available for the uh, public. But yes, more and more significant experiments will be carried in the coming days and we will be getting to hear more uh, you know, the confirmation from the ISRO about what kind of elements has been uh, found by the Pragya, uh, Pragya and Rover on the surface of the moon. Ritu getting us all the details and perspective on that story. Moving on.